Hello, my name is Jonathan, call sign shooter, and I am the one-man show behind Operation Black Bear and Operation Desert Thunder. Now, I'm le letting the auto start do things for me here while I explain a few tiny details. However, we have a taxi thunder flight. You have 30 minutes until time on target. We are, however, going to try and seal those nasty jet engine noises out. So we're gonna seal the cockpit just to get rid of those sounds. Now, so for some of you who have played Operation Black Bear, you might recognize this as Mission Free. And I have chosen to demonstrate this mission for the reason that it shows the kind of seamless updates I am trying to do to the 2.7 version of the campaign. Not only do we have the new weather and cloud mechanic present, but we also have the kind of under the hood uh, trigger and uh, mission logic updates that I simply did not have the skill for last time I did uh, this campaign. So obviously I've been implementing a lot of new tools and a lot of new knowledge. Not everything will feel uh, different, but most of it will at any rate flow better. So the amount of bugs that may cause you to uh, lose a mission when you in fact passed it should be non-existent now. Another thing in case that does happen, I have also implemented a feature here where you can actually skip a mission. So if you feel like you just don't want to do a specific mission or you have failed that mission far too many times or whatever reason, you can just skip that mission and proceed. Now, mission free, I got a lot of feedback in regards to the mission being too long and simply unclear and this is true in the original version of the mission you had to stay on the tarmac while a lot of bombers were taking off and if you were trying to take off before the bombers and hindered the bombers in their takeoff then what would happen is that you would disrupt the entire timing of the mission and obviously this was something people did because well not all people have the kind of patience just sit through 15 minutes uh, so rather this mission has been altered in terms that the bombers start already airborne and this also changes the dynamic of the mission Previously, you essentially had to wait a long time and make sure that you uh, you didn't arrive in the target area too early. Now the element is more rushed. You have a lot less time. You, as uh, the initial voice acting states, you will have you have a specific time on target. And as you can hear, you, you ha we have also added uh, some limited voice acting for Bolt Flight. So you will now have updates on what Bolt Flight is doing. Uh, meaning that you will have a far better overview of what other flights are doing. And in this mission it is uh, very important because Bolt Flight is... Uh, instrumental to the mission progress as mi uh, you are supposed to run in after bolt flight hits the runway so another thing that has been altered in this mission is the ordnance you now have two fuel tanks because the thunder has rather short legs even for the flight down to sochi and you will now have two pods of unguided rockets of course you can change them for bombs or anything similar so we're just gonna start the taxi now make sure we're not delayed and we are going to uh, fix this make sure our data link is ready to go and we're rolling 
So, the reason for the changed armament rather than laser guided rockets is because I want this mission to feel like a hit and run mission. You hit your targets and you get the fuck out. So, this is still a mission where you will most likely use time acceleration to just make sure that this uh, little piece of flying doesn't take too long of your time. But one thing I want to pay attention to is the fact that all waypoints have also been fixed. In the previous version, I was too keen on just putting them on 2000 meters, the standard waypoint setting. And now you will notice that the waypoints are actually in the recommended uh, altitude levels. And target waypoints will of course also be on the ground level. So you should have an easier time with the navigational system. And uh, this is something I completely overlooked, despite the fact that I use the navigation system fairly often myself. It was never something I actually considered while making the first campaign and this is actually rather stupid of me since the waypoint will be instrumental in deciding how the mission feels however if you don't want to um, use the waypoints there is also now in the flight briefing maps added I have learned an efficient method for their creation and part of why I didn't have them in Black Bear was because I felt that they took so long to create. And I have streamlined that method, so rather than having to spend like 30 minutes on an in-flight map, it will now take me just a couple of minutes. And that makes all the time in the world for me. Especially as I felt that the in-flight maps using the longer method didn't look as good as the ones I use now. And while they're very simplistic, they will get the job done in terms of making sure you understand where you need to fly and where the objective is going to be. We are running in, and that means that we need to switch to waypoint 3 and start our assault. Fence in. So we have our unguided rockets here, E-Fuse, everything seems to be in order. The quantity will be two rockets, and we're running in. Unlike the previous alliteration of this mission, we now have a specific target to engage. Uh, we can still engage freely around Sochi Air Base, but our primary target is the 295 bears that are standing on the flight line so these will be our primary objective and the mission trigger is dependent on this objective being destroyed now we should also not maybe do the afterburner for this entire stretch because the even with the twin fuel tanks we're still going to need a lot of fuel to get home so we have Sochi up ahead and both flight has done just a beautiful job in terms of crashing up that runway good hits on the runway both flight Eagles northwest here come both flight from the band so we have the primary target right ahead uh, we can use the CCIP mode to fire the rockets. We're still tracking uh, bogeys, and that is most likely the enemy quick reaction force that we are going to try and avoid on our way out. Slow down a bit as we come in over Sochi. Watch for enemy fire. Rockets away. Rockets away. Ah, crap. A bunch of floggers avoided utter annihilation. Let's get out of here. Let's 
So as you can see, the mission has been changed significantly in terms of feel and objective, rather than being just this mission where you linger above an enemy airbase and cause havoc, you are expected to hit one target and just get the hell out. You should also notice the mission complete toggle that will be your indication of when a mission has been completed because this was also something that not always was clear to the player in previous iterations of the campaign. And this is tied directly into the score system. So if the mission complete sign is shown, then uh, it, this is your confirmation that you can simply quit the mission if you don't feel like flying back. But flying back is so relaxing and fun, so let's do that. Either way, I hope that you will enjoy... Thunder flight, picture. Four ship flanker pulse one, two, four, four, eighty-nine, hot. Disengage and return to base. Yeah, so that is basically our cue to just get the hell out before they decide to come knocking on our noggin. So, I hope you will be enjoying the 2.7 version of Operation Black Bear. And if you are looking for something to play in the meantime, while I'm working, I highly recommend Operation Desert Thunder that already has all the features I have outlined in this video and according to me at any rate is a little bit more fun because it's the more recent project and I feel I did a better job with it. And this is simply my attempt to bring Operation Black Bear up to that same standard. Either way, I wish to extend thanks to Decca Ironworks, not only for pinning my threads on the Eagle Dynamic forums, making these campaigns easier for pilots of the Jeff to find, but also for designing the Jeff module at large that I feel is the perfect jet for these kind of different campaigns, so to speak. And... Um, yeah, let's get the hell out of here before those flankers come any closer.